Hey guys, uh, today I'm gonna show you the diff. Well, I'm not gonna show you the difference. I'm gonna we're gonna test out this varnish. Um, uh, I bought it on Amazon. I ran out of the am of the varnish that I normally use, which is the Gamblin gloss finish. Uh, and when I was looking around pricing, I found that this one was just four dollars more. And it was an entire pint as to the 8.5 ounces. Normally, I don't stray, but it did say that it is museum grade gloss varnish. And I was really intrigued by it. So I, I bought it and I think it's going to work out. I hope it works out. I've never heard of this brand. It's called Breathing Color. Timeless varnish. I like the bottle. It's nice and cute. It has a lot, so I'm really excited about that. And I really hope that it works out. And maybe I found another varnish that I can move on to. I have purchased, I have tried the um, Liquitex varnish before and I absolutely hated it. And I will never do that again. And this is what I'm gonna test the varnish on. Normally that's like a big risk, especially considering what happened when I used the Liquitex where it lifted some of the paint that was fresher. And anyway, I'm wilding out right now. I'm opening it for the first time. It has this. Oh, it's like a spout, I believe. Let's see. Okay. So already I'm noticing that it has that milky color as compared to the um, Gamblin has a just straight up liquid water look. It's going on thick. I like the way it pours a lot. That's a, that was a great call on, on their behalf. It has a really strong smell and the Gamblin one has no smell. Virtually no smell, I'm sure it does have a smell, but. Well, but I'm not like mad at this, at this chemical scent, it's not bad. I'm just not used to smelling that. The fact that it goes on thick, originally scared me because that's the way the um, Liquitex one is, but it didn't, <gasps> oh fuck, <laughs> okay, that was bad, fuck, okay, this is, this is really bad. What just happened is really bad. Definitely don't tip it over like that. Fuck. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to pour it onto a plate. So learn from me, don't do that. Okay, that was like horrific. Worst case scenario happened. Worst case scenario is happening right now, but it's not lifting the paint the way the Liquitex did. And that's freaking awesome. It's funny. Like I'm not even mad. Just like it's funny. I'm really thankful that it did not, did not lift any paint. Because of the amount of varnish that's on this, it's probably going to take forever to dry. I think 
can you imagine I missed a spot? All right. Um. All right, so it's fully varnished. I like it. The smell is still there. Um, I still like the bottle. I don't like that this didn't stay on. So definitely don't top it over the way I did. Maybe keep your finger on the plastic nozzle so that doesn't happen to you. And then we will wait to see when it dries and I'll show you what I think. But so far, I'm loving it, except for that spill. So we'll see. Um, breathing color, we're still still waiting on, on how you dry. But so far, I'm thinking, I'm thinking good stuff. And I wonder if this really is um, used by museums or whatnot. Um, we'll come back and we'll see the results. Okay, so the, we're here in the next morning and this canvas is fully dry. I am completely pleased with it because it looks phenomenal. It's nice and it's glossy. It has, the, it brings out the vibrancy that, that I like, which is why I always choose gloss varnishes. And the best part is it's not sticky at all. Not at all. The Gamblin one, once it, once it's dry, it's dry but it does tend to have like a sticky, semi-sticky consistency to it that can be there for weeks at times. And this is not here at all. And that alone makes this worth it. The price difference between the between these, the this one and the Gamblin one are, are pretty significant. This is a whole pint. The Gamblin 16 ounce on Amazon is $30, $32, which I was gonna buy because I, nor I normally buy the eight ounces and it does last me a long time. I can make it last, but I just wanted to buy something bigger, get more bang for my buck because I, I paint every day. So upon searching on Amazon, I, I was just looking at other options and I found this guy right here. This pint for $24 and change. I think I ended up paying like $26 or something total with tax. Um, and it got, it was delivered within three days. So it was great. Um, I'll definitely buy this again for sure. And the only the only um, problem was when the accident happened and I poured in like the little nozzle thing popped off. Um, which was quite scary but funny. Um, now the nozzle thing is completely stuck to the cap which is, I guess, whatever. Um, that's probably my only complaint. It does have that milky color to it when you pour it, which can be scary, but don't be, don't be intimidated by it. Don't let that deter you from buying it because it does come out looking the way I want it to look. And actually, I believe it's a little glossier than my other paintings. Yeah, it's just, just a tinge glossier than the um, Gamblin. And if you're into gloss varnish, then this this is definitely it. Uh, like I said, I will buy this again. I am sold. I'm a buyer for life. I do want to look these people up more and see if they have other products. 
but it does say it's uh, museum grade, so yeah. The website is breathingcolor.com, which I will check it out after this video. You should too. And we'll see what, what these people are about. But like I said, it's on Amazon, $24 for a pint. Best deal, best deal I've found. So I, I definitely recommend it.